are going to do three DIYs. Right now, we are showing our beautiful friendship bracelets. And right here, we have some finished products of some earlier bracelets that we have done. Here's one that we have already done. And we do them at multiple lengths um, for people that have small wrists and big wrists. We do them in all different sizes. Um, so here is how you make those bracelets. You at least have to make eight slots on the edges and one hole in the middle. Here are some of these that we have made. I think using the chip can top is a lot better since it lasts a lot longer and won't tear up as easily and you can use it for a lot more bracelets. You can also use duct tape paper that comes off the top. It will tear up a little bit easier but it's a little more stable than this one since it has the printing on this side and this duct tape um, came from the Dollar Tree we have a lot of duct tape um, so we use these and you can also use index cards and cut them into circle but um, they're a lot more tear up so they bend very easily and will do very few bracelets. So I recommend using this one. And here are all of them that are not cut. Be careful when you cut this and instead of using scissors for every single thing on these, I'd recommend using a hole puncher for the hole in the middle. And these have little slits, but this has these. You can um, see on these strings that some of the strings that are in one try to come apart when uh, they're like this on the, can on the can tops. So we cut them in these. It still kind of does it, but it's better than nothing. All right. Right here we have some beautiful color combinations. Um, here we have a combination of different types of green, brown, and white. It's a good combination for camo if you really like that. And here we have a combination of black, gray, and white. Kind of looks old timey. <laughs> and right here we have some nice pretty colors. We have some purple, pink, um, light blue, and white. Perfect color combination. So pretty. Um, I will now demonstrate how to make the bracelets. Um, I'm almost done with mine since I have a small wrist. Um, here is the combination of these pretty colors, and I will show you what that looks like. It's pretty. Alright, and when you cut them, you will have eight strings, but when you put them in, you need to cut off one, because you only need seven, because there's eight slots. One that's empty, so you count one, two, three. Take that string out and put it where it's empty. Then you go to the next one. One, two, three. And you do that over and over till you get the length that you would like it to be at. These are so perfect for either boys or girls, or even grown-ups. These are also good to give out for Halloween instead of candy, because I'm pretty sure a lot of people love bracelets. So, if you'd like to, you can make these for Halloween and give them out. 
I think a lot of people will like that. And that's it for this DIY.
supplies we need to make our beautiful crayon lipstick. We have some olive oil. You can also do this with vegetable oil. Any type of color crayon that you would like. Either blue, green, red. And to measure the olive oil, you're going to need a teaspoon. Because we don't want to add too much. That would make it really runny. And you need a little bowl to mix it in and a little container to put it in for when you want to freeze it to harden it. And when it is hardened, you can take it out of the freezer and try it on. So inside this pot is the uh, little container that we are going to mix it in. So we just break this crayon into pieces. So you can do it in half. I'm just going to do this because the container isn't really small. So I'm going to drop it in here. There we go. And then we're going to take the olive oil and add a teaspoon. Now do this over the container because it might get a little messy. Now, my mom is going to heat it up because I don't want to burn myself. And if you're trying to do this yourself, please get a grown up to do it for you because nobody wants burns under your fingers.